Hey guys, welcome back again to another technology guru video. I'm coming at you today with another Photoshop effect. I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, apply a rain effect to your landscape photos. So it's a really easy effect and there's many ways to go about doing this, but this the way that I've found is the easiest way to go about doing it. So as you see here in the image, it looks as if it's raining uh, in this image here. So what I'm going to do now is remove all of those additions that I have made. And this is the original photo here before the effect is added. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is add a new layer. So go ahead and click on the new layer option, which is right here in your layers panel and create a brand new layer and leave it above your background which is your image now you need to go over and grab your paint bucket tool which could be hidden behind the gradient or 3d material drop tool so select your paint bucket tool make sure that your foreground color is black and your background color is white this is very important and go ahead and paint that new layer completely black once you've done that you want to go up to filter and then you want to go down to render and then you want to go to fibers which is right here click on that you need to set your variance which is right here to 64 eh, it could be anywhere from 60 to 68 but I found that 64 works really well the strength needs to be set anywhere from 8 to 12 I'm leaving mine right at 10 and then once you're done with that click OK once you have this here, you then need to go up and decrease the opacity of that layer uh, until you can, you know, get a nice view of the image behind it. So maybe set the opacity right at uh, maybe 27, 28. I'm going to leave mine right at 26%. Then you need to go up and go to filter, blur, motion blur, which is right here thumbs up you want to set your angle here to be anywhere from 60 to 68 I like 63 and then you want to change your distance to around 60 to 65 and I'm gonna leave mine right at 61 once you do that go ahead and click OK now you have the nice rain effect going from the top right to the bottom left and depending on your image you may need to increase or decrease the opacity depending on how hard you want it to appear as if it's raining okay so I really hope this tutorial helped you this is a really neat effect you can apply to your landscape photos within Photoshop if it did help you please help me by subscribing to my channel for more great content like this hit the thumbs up button below and share this with your friends and family and I will see you guys next time